I'm Josh Gilbert and uh, I ride for Paul Home Tuscavana and we're here at Matley Basin for the uh, for the MXGP. Well, it's it's a it's a pretty special track really. It's well, it's one of my favourites anyway. Yeah, every time I come here I get a bit of a buzz going. I, I've been here every year since 2014. The track's always prepped amazing. It's just just hopefully getting the weather right really on the day, but those things you can't change can you since 2014 i've always been here just on the 250s so like in emx and then mx2 last year so yeah this year's first time 450 rookie season for doing everything on the 450. start here is uh pretty unique to be fair well you don't really get anywhere else in the world with this with the the drop you almost got to like get the front wheel so it's just just dropping down over nicely so the uh so you can get the power without it lifting the back end off or sometimes if you you shoot out too fast and it messes up the drop and it is quite a lot different ideally you want to be sort of i think around where i'm stood here but probably after tomorrow's qualifying i'll be somewhere down there but if we can get around here it'd be a bonus you, you pick up the speed really fast like down down here i mean obviously i've only done it on the 250 so i think the 450 is going to be even even bigger change really you pick up the speed much faster but yeah I've, I've only actually done four starts in total on the 450 in a race so it'd be interesting to see what um the, the gps are like tomorrow with, with all the top top boys about it, it's it's quite a safe first turn really you don't it doesn't sort of go in and pinch but even coming out of the turn and down the pit lane it's it just all sort of flows nicely so there isn't really much of a worry there. I mean, obviously, there's obviously a bit of danger. You might end up having a tangle up in the first turn, but. Probably my favorite part of the track is uh, probably the whoops, because you don't, don't tend to really get anything sort of like that on a motocross track. It's a bit super crossy, so yeah, you can eat, and it's got loads of opportunities for passing and you can go out wide, triple, triple, single, um, or you can go in tight and double, 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 single. It actually, because that's also a passing place. Before that, two years ago, I, uh, I actually, in, when I was in the Europeans, I, I ended up crashing and come from like, well, I was dead last. I seemed to find a nice line up around that long sweeper before there, and I actually, I think I passed probably 20 odd riders just through using that inside and. Actually then I was going wide and triple triple single which worked out quicker. I could actually hear everyone shouting and also the commentators as well. So yeah, it was, it was quite good feeling. Today obviously it's been mega weather and the track, well, I just said it looked probably one of the best it has because you can just move around on the track so much with all the lines. Tomorrow the forecast isn't looking amazing. Even if it does rain, I mean, I've been in Britain so I'm, I'm a British rider and we've grew up riding wet tracks so the worst part about it is just on your goggles really that's when the rain's getting in it and it's just that's that's the most annoying thing like i don't actually mind riding in the rain it's just just the fact of you got <laughs> flat out with the goggles really i must admit the jumps aren't too bad actually you don't have to they're not like you don't have to hit them flat out and like hut the jumps and stuff i don't really worry about the jumps now whereas when i come here in 2014 i, I when i walked the track it was i just was quite intimidated actually by the the size of the jumps and like the takeoffs are just well they're they're nearly vertical which i when you watch it from the side and stuff it doesn't really do it much justice the track just flows so nice and that's one of the reasons why it's like one of my favorite tracks yeah they were like come out here they were going like to the pit yeah. and then like cutting the across the bumps uh, like, yeah, qualifying, like, I've got one good lap in and come back in and I was going triple triple, like I said last yeah. night, I was going triple triple, single and then come in and they were saying oh they started to go tight, double, triple, double, so um, yeah, I had to go back out and I did manage to do that, which was, uh, it did actually knock a bit of my time off, but I was a little bit slower in the other sectors, so I didn't, I didn't actually manage to improve my, my overall lap, but in that sector it was, yeah, quite a bit quicker. But yeah, I was, I was well happy with my riding and stuff then, it's just so stacked, I mean, 
like I think a second would have jumped me up five to ten or like seven or eight places. It's, it is pretty pretty close. I mean, four seconds off the top, and I'm 24th. So yeah, even even the people behind are close. It's it's just going to be one of them. Whoever gets out the gate and, and yeah, just hang it in there for, for 30 plus two. It's very hard on underneath, and then there's like top couple inches of um, like wood chip and dirt sort of mixed in and yeah it, it kind of pushed off the top because the bottom's so hard and it sort of just burned up rather than there's in only a couple of corners there's maybe an inch or two rut so you've got to be really precise and take your time almost a little bit in those areas and then yeah you kind of just got to keep it all running everywhere with the berms because as soon as you try and turn out you just end up losing traction and yeah, it, it, you're just fighting the bike then. In recent years, I must admit, the ruts and stuff, because you can just go in there and you can get a real good flow and yeah, it feels nice when you're in the ruts. But I think it'll make interesting racing because you can move about on the track and stuff. So yeah, we'll see. Like I said yesterday, coming here on the 250, I got a bit intimidated the first time I come here, but now it's just, I need, they need to be a bit bigger on the 450. You're scrubbing them so hard to like just, just to make the landings. There was one lap, I was actually on my off lap, and I just hit um, the turn before you step down before the quad, and it's sort of the one on the corner. I just come into that and just bump off the top, and I, I landed in the bottom of the takeoff and folded up, and I was like, Bloody hell, these jumps need to be a lot bigger. <laughs> That's it, show it to the camera. <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah, so it's my own fault, really. <laughs> Race one. I did both bash, both starts up. It was very good. But I managed to both times get through on the first lap pretty, pretty well. And I think I was first race about 18th, 19th, something like that, in the first sort of three or four turns. And then I got cleaned out. <laughs> Um, and so yeah, I, straight away, as soon as I hit the deck, I just knew like, ah, oh, it's just almost game over really, but just still had to get back up and get back onto it. And I actually caught the, the back group up pretty quickly and got onto them, but I think the first three laps I was just a little bit too eager. I just think I was in every hole out there and yeah, I threw a few shapes the first few laps, <laughs> which ain't a bit like me. Yeah, then ended up crash slipping off again. Um, and then, yeah, just had to come back up again, really, which is just sort of catch them up, crash, drop back, catch them up, crash, drop back, and then caught them back up again. And it's the track was just everyone was going sort of the same pace. I mean, to, to try and make even just a second up a lap or and then and then even just to pass people it was it was hard work uh and then yeah i think i 30th or something in the first race but you say 30th and then you look at the names that was in front of you and then the couple that were behind me it's like i actually passed like ferrato i mean he was nearly won the emx 250 title like two years ago so yeah my, my speed was really good and then second moto Best, but I made it up in the beginning and I was actually 21st or 22nd for 
good 15, I think 15 minutes or so, and actually holding my own in there and stuff. I think uh, Monticelli was two in front of me, uh, Strybos was one in front of me. It's when you sort of really love those names, it's a bit. <laughs> It, 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 they're big names. I mean, the whole class is just so stacked at the minute. Um, even to just be out there and sort of even be the same sort of speed as them. Um, yeah, it's, it's been a positive weekend. I, I'm happy. It's been a month on the bike now. So yeah, it's, there's a lot of positives to take away. It, it would have been nice to have scored points. Um, that didn't happen, but I, I'm happy with how everything went and my riding and stuff. So I can't, I can't be too too unhappy really. must admit the first one when I hit the deck on the first lap I thought man this is just gonna be this is like gonna be hard work from here but I just knew just I just gotta keep clicking the laps off and there's no point pulling in or giving up because you know you're not gonna progress through doing that. Um, overall positive weekend uh, yeah a lot to take away um, fe feeling feeling good for the amount of time I've had on the bike and loving the 450 so I think the more GPs you do, the more it's then going to help for the British and yeah, you're just going to keep getting stronger through the year or that's hopefully anyway, that's the plan. <laughs>